Hi, I'm Mateo, and today we have to have a super serious talk about the future of Pet Simulator 99. Just today, we finally got the announcement for the Pet Sim RNG game coming out on Friday, and along with that, we also got a couple sneak peeks into the game that we'll go over in a second. But with the release of this brand new game, it really brings up the question on what the future of Pet Simulator 99 is really going to look like. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into everything you could possibly need to know about this new pet sim rng game coming out friday and how i think it's going to affect the future of pet simulator 99 and if you are excited to see some content on this new game make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'll be covering everything you could possibly need to know once the game's released on top of all of that i'll also be giving away a side huge in pet simulator 99 all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel comment down below the word rng as well as your roblox username so now that that you've done all that let's get right into today's video all right you guys so very exciting as you can see here right in the middle of the trading plaza we have the official countdown for the pet simulator rng game coming out this friday now it's coming out at the exact same time that updates usually come out on saturdays but obviously this one is coming out this friday and we also have no countdown in pet simulator 99 for an update so we can only assume they are skipping this week's update as well which means three weeks of skipped updates in pet simulator which is pretty sad it's honestly very disappointing that preston just didn't go ahead and hire a new set of developers to work on this game and instead pulled all of their developers from their main game to work on a competitor's game kind of now obviously it's not a competitor's game because big game still owns pet sim rng but obviously the player base that is getting pulled to play this new game is going to come from the player base of pet simulator 99 so i'm guessing that it's going to work depending on how good this new game performs if the new pet sim rg game does really well i assume they're gonna have all the big games developed developers working on that instead of pet simulator 99 and then if this new game flops then they'll just continue having their developers work on this game instead now honestly that's a lot of negativity about the game but besides that i'm honestly just really excited to play it i think big games is going to come up with some very refreshing new ideas about the rng genre that make this game actually fun to play keep in mind that big games did say that there's going to be a whole separate economy within this game which really excites me because as you guys know i love to trade and stuff so i hope this economy is really good and has some fun aspects to it now really quickly let's actually go over the trailer that we got today along with the announcement all right you guys so here we are on twitter and this was the official release announcement from big games saying that the new game is coming out on friday and they they also link this website which is a countdown to when the actual game comes out now the countdown is pretty much the exact same thing as you can see in game in pet simulator 99 and then attached was this video here now obviously this is just like the lobby of the new pet sim rng game so we can't really get all that information but i actually did go ahead and do a deep dive into this video and took some notes on specific things that you guys should probably notice and expect to see in this new game on friday so really quickly here you could see the formation of these clouds up top really looks like some sort of obby to me so i'm not sure if this is going to give you some sort of bonus reward like there is in other games i definitely don't think these are just aesthetic clouds it definitely seems like something you're going to be able to jump on because of how like close they are and how they have this like circular formation around this lobby area and then next up we also have this like windmill here in the background so this is just like one of the aesthetic things it kind of seems like i'm not sure if this actually has any significance at all but besides the green grass and other objects around there's not really many identifiable objects so i just circled this for that and then also down here we have a top rolls worldwide uh leaderboard now i'll zoom in here because my face is probably blocking it but as you can see all of the devs here have been testing out the game and have a significant amount of rolls already so this is what this leaderboard is is gonna be if you guys have any idea of what's going on on this leaderboard please let me know because i could not read out what this says at all now another little thing here is this little set of dice which obviously is a reference to the rng aspect of this game itself and then another thing with the top rolls you can see the guy with the number one rolls here is coder joey i'm pretty sure and that's 
his character so if you do get number one in the world your character will be displayed like this which is pretty cool now over here in the background you could also see there's like a fallen building so that is another aesthetic like you see a bunch of these buildings in pet simulator 99 so this is going to be something that's included in the background scenery at least of the lobby in this new game you can also see another one of those dice like hidden in the background here so not sure if there's going to be something over here that we can't see from this angle and then of course we have the first pay to win aspect of the game right here off the bat that you can find in the lobby which is the lucky game pass which is gonna boost your luck with rolls obviously so nothing too crazy there we have one of these game passes in pet simulator 99 now moving on to the right side of the scene there really isn't all that much in here but bear with me you guys now i kind of like double circled this here so don't think this is like any sort of weird symbol but there is some sort of like giant dice here in the background as well like in front of this mountain it looks like there's just a giant dice that might be out in the water so this is just like a background aesthetic and then on top of that they also have the cat golden fountain from pet simulator 99 if we head over here into the real world i can actually show you that if you guys don't understand what that references from okay i guess the fountain is actually gone and replaced with these dice i did not know that my bad but as you guys probably remember there's usually a golden fountain here that has a cat on it and that is the exact same one from the lobby here in the new pet sim rng game now probably the biggest piece of information that we did get from this trailer is the fact that you are going to be able to send and receive gifts so we can only assume there's going to be some sort of trading system within this game so the fact that you're going to be able to trade things by sending things in the mailbox on top of the fact that they said there's going to be a whole separate economy does give me hope that there could be some significance to this game. And then the last thing that I circled in this entire image here is just this stack of gold coins that is on the right side here. Obviously, these are assets that they use in the main Pet Simulator 99 game, so nothing too special. And it's kind of funny that they actually are reusing all of these assets that they have from their other game, so they're not really even creating anything new. It really makes you wonder what they've been spending their time on all this time that they've not been working on pet simulator 99 if all the assets from their new game have already been created before and they're just kind of moving them around and copy and pasting them either way that is pretty much it let me know down in the comment section whether or not you guys are excited for this game and remember i will be covering all sorts of stuff on the new game here on the channel so make sure you are subscribed for that and also let me know down in the comments section whether or not you would want me to stream the opening of this game when it actually comes out on friday so besides that i hope to see every single one of you guys on friday when i come out with some new videos on this brand new game thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and peace out